Well, Storm Team 4 Chief Meteorologist Dave Mazza joins us now with a quick check on Central Ohio's most accurate forecast. What do you say? It's going to get dry, right? A little bit better tonight. Yeah, we're starting to get rid of most of those rain showers tonight, which is good news, especially for the morning as well. After we had a little bit of a soggy evening outside, you notice we've got still a couple of light sprinkles down to the south in Ross and Pike County. That's all that's about left at this time. But we have seen a little bit of a breakup in the clouds. And for some of us, we've been lucky enough to see that nearly full moon outside. It was full about 24 hours ago. But because of the clearing, you notice there's this swath of colder air. We're temperatures have already dropped back into the middle to upper 30s, including us here in the city at this time. So we are going to see a little bit co uh, cooler start, but still above normal start to the day on your Friday, but it will be dry with temperatures back in the middle 30s out at the bus stop. There is another round of rain set to return back to our area later in the day on Friday. We'll also look ahead to the upcoming weekend forecast, which is a little bit cooler coming up in just a few minutes. I think you'll be OK. We're going to have okay. temperatures uh, in the 40s. In fact, here is the forecast. It's a great lead in. See, this is this is why Carrie's my guy right here because <laughs> he led me right into this forecast for tonight uh, for for the toy drive on Saturday. Well, numbers in the lower 40s, so warmer than it is right now to start off the toy drive. Look at little to no wind through the event, and we will see temperatures pushing back into the upper 40s by the end of the toy drive. So it's going to be pretty ideal weather, and of course, you don't even have to get out of your car, so it's not going to really matter these temperatures too much. But the winds and the moisture, obviously, you don't want to have either of those, and we're not going to have much of that at all through the day on Saturday. Now, short term tonight, we've had a little break in the clouds here in central Ohio. It's been enough to drop temperatures down this evening. Still have a sprinkler or two down to the south right now in Pike County, but pretty good visibility showing up outside on the Winter Nation Tower camera tonight. You notice the spread in temperatures from the lower 30s up in Kenton to the middle 30s, just about everywhere else to the upper 30s closer to I-70, and then some 40s down to the south where the cloud cover has been a little bit thicker. You notice visibilities, while not amazing, are not terrible either. Most of this uh, area is sitting at about three to four mile visibilities, even some higher numbers than that. So not too much in the fog department tonight. And the good news is because we're going to continue to have a little bit of a breeze overnight tonight, even though the humidity is high, that breeze should help mix things up a little bit and keep some of that fog from developing. But again, temperatures are going to drop across parts of the area, another three to four degrees through the overnight hours tonight with a mix of clouds and some low level moisture, giving us a little bit of that low cloud deck, especially to the south. Now, as we head through the morning tomorrow, I do expect to see a little bit of sunshine peeking through the cloud cover, but in general, we're going to watch cloud cover starting to thicken back up as we head towards the midday hours tomorrow. And by tomorrow evening, you'll notice rain showers on our doorstep right around the evening commute. I think after sundown is when we'll see the rain showers working their way through the city. And by this time tomorrow night, most of that rain will be pushing off towards the east and behind it. We will see a good deal of cloud cover to start the day again on Saturday. So tonight overnight lows dropping back and generally a, a couple of degrees above normal lower 30s outside of the city to the north and east mid to upper 30s for the rest of us for overnight lows is so still running above normal, but a couple degrees cooler than the last few mornings out at the bus stops. So keep that in mind tomorrow. See our numbers getting back to 45 by noon and an afternoon high. A couple degrees warmer tomorrow with those stray showers developing late in the day. We'll see an afternoon high tomorrow at 49. Same thing again on Saturday at 49. A couple sprinkles late in the day. A little bit better chance of a quick shot of showers coming in Saturday night. I don't think it will affect Sunday. So Sunday will be kind of cloudy outside. And that's the same thing again on Monday. Middle 40s for the highs those afternoons. And then we are going to see rain showers starting to move in late in the day on Tuesday. Winds will pick up on Wednesday. So will the temperature temperatures out ahead of a next strong cold front that'll push through and that is going to bring rain showers early on Thursday. I think we hit 46 early in the day on Thursday and then fall back into the 30s later and that's going to reinforce colder air by the end of next work week. Okay, thank you, sir.